Myself, Sarah, and you can reviewing Italian wines on behalf of the cellar door. This is not an Italian wine today. Well, it was going to be a video for Foreign Friday because this is actually about still Thursday, but this is going to be Foreign Fridays. Here we have the Balfour Brute, Brute Sparkling Rose. Rose, yes. And look at it, isn't it beautiful? Lovely. Wow. They say it's calling it salmon, but I don't know. It's this very, you know, kind of. It's not quite salmon, though, is it? It's very salmony. It's still salmony. Yeah, it is. Look at that. That's smoked salmon, baby. I think that looks really quite like a regular. It's just a splash, a hint of like rosé poured into sheet fat. Oh. I don't think I, I disagree. But that's just the wine sluice thing. Okay, so this okay. is. From Balfour, who are our best producer of uh, sparkling uh, wines here in England, and this retails for about well here at the Bluebird retails for thirty nine. You know what it is? It's lifted strawberries. You think? Yes. I'm not getting anything much on there. You're not getting strawberries. I'm just not getting much. I'm getting I'm getting definitely strawberries. I'm not getting a lot more than the strawberries, but definitely strawberries. Yeah. But but would you like to do the tasting now? You no, know. I've hurt my nose. <laughs> Here is uh, the Bonfo, very beautiful and prestigious English sparkling rose wine from their very small uh, vineyard area of only four hectares. But they're, the, they're, they're planting And they're planting more because the demand for this is Massive. crazy. Yeah? This is sold out within months of like being, uh, being available. And we have the, uh, this is a 2006 vintage? Five. 2004? Okay, yeah. 2005 vintage. They've only had two vintages so far. Okay. And this is uh, the rosé, so I'll let my friend the wine smith tell you all about this one. Uh, oh, well, thank you, Sarah. Uh, well, this is a uh, primarily Pinot Noir, uh, but I think it's a blend, wasn't it? Yeah, Chardonnay. It's a Chardonnay, Pinot Meunier, and Pinot Noir, but it is um, rosé because they've left it on the skins for a bit. It's lovely, really nice little bubbles. I don't know if you can see those bubbles there. Tiny, tiny bubbles. The nose is... How's the nose? How's your nose? Raspberries. Yeah. Full on, yeah, she's right. It's full on raspberries. I mean, it's just I mean, it's so fruity. Just the nose is just really loads and loads of raspberries in there. Very fruity, um, which is something that it's, it's kind of hard, I think, to get with, with the rosé sparkles, no? Yeah, I mean, I suppose we were in a little bit of unknown territory. I mean, a lot of tried some sparkling English wines, but to, yeah, to, to yeah. say a typical sparkling, uh, sparkling yeah. rosé, I couldn't tell you yeah. from England. Yeah, from England, anyway. But I have to say that it's, it's just really nice nose. And, and how does it taste? Wait, let me try it. It's a nice citrus flavor, really crisp acidity. Very crispy. Little bubbles. Even though this has been sitting for a little bit, those bubbles just come right at you. Um, but the, it's not real. Uh, it's not real aggressive. I think the bubbles. You know, the bubbles do are there, but they're not gonna knock you out. To me, I was saying earlier off, off camera that this this rosé is just a, it's such a slight rosé to me. I mean, if I was blind, I wouldn't even be able to necessarily. Really? Tell yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, it's just such a. a, a it's a, you know, it's screaming like a kind of champagne. The colour, I don't, I mean, oops, I know that you think it's but really salmony, but to me, I don't feel that way. I mean, I see this tinge. No, but it, I mean, I think, well, I think for me, it's definitely got, it looks like a rosé. It's a very, very pale rosé. Very, but, you know, again, we're talking about sparkling wines. So when you have that sort of, you know, they often are very, very pale. And if you think about, I'd say, southern France. Think about Tatsinger. Tatsinger rosé is very, very pale. I've had a few, few rosés from the Champagne rosé there. This to me would be like the palest as far as pink. Well, just consider, consider that we are the furthest northern yeah, yeah, part yeah, of, of course, Champagne. Of course, of course. But I, I do get red, I definitely get red fruits on this. I definitely get like a red I strawberry well, on, on, the, on, the palette, the on the palette. Yeah, you don't. Maybe, maybe some raspberry, but I'm not getting apples. You're getting apples. See, I'm not getting apples. I'm getting much more of a raspberry red fruit profile. But so maybe, you know maybe, maybe, maybe red apples. Yes, red apples and raspberries. Red apples and raspberries, yeah, that's it. So, but in general, I think it's a very well made. Well, it won the South East, the best wine of the whole of the South East region. Yeah, that's yeah. So that's, that's saying something. That's competition. <laughs> 
There is a lot of competition. And I have to say that uh, Buffalo Brew Rosé, uh, when I took this to California, people loved it. I mean, it was really, really very well received. And it is very nice. And, I mean, it's definitely, I think it's, with, but it's more of an aperitif. Yeah. As opposed to having it with a meal, I'm not, it would have to be a light meal. You wouldn't have anything really, really heavy. With this. Uh, yeah. But, but it is really good. Uh, so, why point it up, point it up. Nine, Two. She's pointing it out as 92. I'm saying it's good. Very good. And I saw that. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this is the wine sleuth. And, um, wine night. <laughs> Bringing you the very best things. That's right. <laughs> Cheers. And yeah, this is wine night. <laughs> Welcome to the paper. <laughs>